In this video, we're going to compare motor nameplate voltages to the system voltages that they connect to. So let's start with the system voltage. What is that? That's your supply voltage that you'd find in a building. For example, the top one here is a single phase 120 volt slash 240 volt. That's typically in a residential service and you have access to either one of those volts. Moving on, the next three are commercial applications. They're from three phase Y systems and they supply two voltages. Now this first voltage here is a single phase voltage and the second voltage here we have access to three phase voltages. Now when we're dealing with motors generally a three phase motor is better than a single phase motor so you want to pick that option every time. So we're going to focus on these three numbers and not these three numbers. And then lastly typically industrial applications we have the three phase delta system and you can see we have the 240 volt option or the 480 volt option. So over here, this is what is stamped on the nameplate of a motor. And these are our options for these systems. So let's just briefly go through that. So if you want to do 120 volts um, in your house, you can buy a 115 volt rated motor. If you want to connect it to the 240 volt section, then you'd buy a 230 volt and you should note that those motors will be single phase. Moving on to the commercial application, we're looking at these numbers here. So for a 208 volt system, we're looking at 200 volt motor or a 208 volt rated three phase motor. The rest, you can probably see what's going on here. So for a 480 volt system, we're looking at a 460 volt three phase motor. For the 600 volt three phase, we're looking at a 575 volt three phase motor. And then for the delta systems, the 240 volt system would connect to a 230 volt three phase motor. And then the 480 would connect to the 460 volt three phase motor. The only other thing to add is some motors are dual voltage. So for example, I might buy a motor and on the nameplate it says 230 volt slash 460 volt three phase. So first of all, that is not a system. There is no 230 volt slash 460 volt system. What it is, it is a choice. So you can either connect the motor to be rated for 230 volts or connect the motor to be rated for 460 volts. So if you connect it as a 230 volt motor, you can see your option here would be then for the 240 volt three phase delta supply. If you connected it as a 460 volt motor, you have two options. You can connect it to the Y system, the 277 slash 480 volt system, or the delta system, which also supplies 480 volts three phase. I hope that helps and clears up the differences between the nameplate voltages and the system voltage.